Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We will carry on right where we left off last time. Continue career. Are we going to make Staff Sergeant before we finish this game? Uh, is it Staff Sergeant or Flight Sergeant? I don't know. Something. Sergeant was in there somewhere, I'm pretty sure of it. There we go. The aircraft performed really well during the bombing, but I notice a slight loss of electrical power when returning to base. Also, load the next batch of bombs for tomorrow's flight. Refuel the aircraft, load the aircraft with bombs, fix the electric system. Fixing the electric system is probably going to be the most tricky part of all of this. So, once again, doing the whole tedious refueling thing. Now, can't they just have a, a, a stand... I'd like... Just to have a standard grease monkey to do this job. Rather than us. No, we're, we're an experienced engineer. Why can't we just have a thing where it says, tell the grease monkey to go and refuel the aircraft. And let him mess around with this. So that we don't have to do it. We've got more important things to do, like loading bombs and finding faults with the electrical system. We've got no clues to that. I suspect, though, that the electrical system is going to be something inside those. Uh, it's, well, he said a fault with the electrical system. That's, that's going to be something to do with the gener... There's generators on the side of the engines, isn't there? You have you, you go... It's on this side of the engine. There's a generator in there. I wonder if it's something to do with that. That's what, that's what we'll look for. We'll, we'll look on there. We'll look at the generator on the side on there, and we'll see if that's got anything to do with it. So there we go. We have put 50 gallons into there. Well, 48 gallons. I didn't bother guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on the whole guessing thing because I'm so far out on it now. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not even funny. Right, and we'll run over to there and... One, ladder. There we go. Right, we put you into there. Next. Didn't actually pick it up. And then up there, put the hose in and then over to here and controls. We put that one going. It would be really cool if you could put two hoses going at once. You could load, get both the um, tanks going at the same time. It would definitely save us a bit of time. Um, I mean, yeah, you'd be here for a fair bit longer, but I, I still think that would be a fairly awesome thing to be able to do. Be able to do two at once there. Right, we grab you. And then I'll put you back over to there. And then I want to go take the ladder. And then come over to this side and... Drop you down there. Get you up the ladder. Put that one down the ladder. Over to that one. Turn it on. Pump through a hundred gallons of fuel back into it. Well over a hundred gallons of fuel, actually. I reckon that was probably closer to a hundred and ten gallons of fuel. Still, it's done. And we grab that one. And we go. Chuck you up there. And then we got one more to do. Right. Uh, take the ladder. Around this side, and put you onto there. And I take you. Scramble up there and put that one on. And this is the quick one, so this one, what? About 50 gallons, do we reckon? 55 gallon tank, so 50 gallons, because he seemed to drain a load of the fuel out. There, 50, uh, 48 gallons. That was the same as the first one, wasn't it? I think it was. Right. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I need to get this back first. Let's go and get you. Put you up there. Right. Uh, take the ladder and... I'm just going to chuck the ladder over there. Then I'm going to go to option number two, like that. And I'll go back through here. So, ooh, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. So we'll pop that one back and we'll pop that one back. And then as soon as we put these caps back on, we've got to load the bombs again. That's a really quick and easy job. Put that one on. It's much faster than doing the fuel. Because we can throw those 500 pound bombs around as though they were matchsticks. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. See, that's the bit that we're actually using the grease monkeys for. We're coming along and we're organizing it because we're we're um we're quite high on the ranks. And then the grease monkeys, they're coming along and, and they're just doing what they're told. That's, that's essentially what is happening here. Uh to lower that one down. Go to Bombay. Bombay over there. Right. And then we go to number two. And I pop you in there like that. 
and that one, and then I do the same on that one, like that, and then I do that one up there, like that, and then I do that one, oop, there we go, and that one up there, right, easy job, nice and easy, there, and that's done, so I'm thinking the generator on here, this, this is my theory, so I want to remove the exhaust shroud off of there, like that, and then I want the port engine cowling, I can't see very well with that sun in my eyes, move over, there we go, drop down there a little bit, tick that out, and generate, that one actually looks like it's in bad, con damaged, yes, is it going to be just that one in there? Or are we going to have to go and do the one on the other side as well? So at the moment, it might just be that one bit. Uh, generator, I very much doubt that I can fix it, but we can go and have a look. Why don't I just do this? Press escape and go inventory. Damaged. Repairable, yes. Okay, all right. Well, I could have just come all the way over here. Okay, so we'll do that. And I go to the generator. That's one bit. Go to you. That's another bit. To you. Another bit. Good you. And another bit. We've done it. We completely repaired it. We are just that good. Right. Uh, I want to go to there and then put that generator in there. Do that task. Complete. Fix the electrical system. That was literally all it was. So fortunately, we started on the correct side for this. And all the way up there. And also, fortunately, I am actually learning some things here. Fault the electrical system. Possibly the electrical generator could be causing that. Who knew? Who knew? And wait. Uh, I want to press escape. And then I want to put a task in there. And I'll do that. So that'll be 45 points plus 5 points for repairing the item. So that's going to be another 50 points, which is going to take us all the way up. To, yeah, we're heading towards Flight Sergeant, aren't we? That's, that's what we're heading towards. Plus those, so there we go. 3,100, we got 400 points to go. Continue our illustrious career. Once again, we've got to refuel the aircraft. Please check the undercarriage. I think it's starting to wear off. By the way, the command wants to make sure we can take pictures as well as drop bombs. Don't put them on today. Okay. Make sure we can take pictures as well as drop bombs. Right, well, we, so we don't want any bombs today. He just wants a camera. Are you taking Polaroids or what? Not sure what he's taking. Uh, check the undercarriage. So that'll be the wheel back there, I'm guessing. And probably all of that wheel as well. But we'll go back to the old tedious task over here. And we'll grab you. We'll run over this way. And I'll put you there. And um, we'll go and do this. It, like, the one thing with the fuel is if you... Actually, you know what I'm wondering? Let me let me just test something a minute. Well, first up, we'll, we'll do this side, okay? I've, I've got a little test idea here to run. That maybe, just maybe, because it doesn't overfill on these, right? It's not like the oil. It doesn't overfill. So I can put that one going. That one's going to be fast. Okay, we know that one's going to be fast. And then I can close that one off. And I can come out and climb the ladder. That one. Put you back up there. And then take the ladder. And I'll bring you over to here. Right. Now. Theory time. Let's see if this will work. I put you up there like that. And then I run down here. Press space, and I open that one up. Oh. Uh, I right-click to come out. It automatically shuts off the valve. So I don't actually have to physically shut the valve off myself anyway. It automatically does it. But I was wondering if I could, like, go on and start opening the other caps while this one was filling. But apparently you're not allowed to do that. that that's, that's not a thing. Um, I just thought it might save us a little tiny bit of time. It's, you know, obviously, it's not a huge amount, but it would at least... Give us something to do, I suppose, while it was while it was all filling up. Because you get so bored waiting for the, the, the 12 seconds for it to fill. 10 seconds even. Like a bit there. Uh, right. Climb up here. I need to take these off. Like that one. Like that. And that one. 
Over there, like that. Down we go. Grab you. Climb up there and put that one in. And then back over here. So, yeah, we're not allowed to do this. I, I, don't, I didn't even see what the, the fuel gauge... I'm saying 70 gallons. I didn't see what it went to last time. Probably is going to be exactly 70 gallons. And then you'll say you cheated. Oh, no, it's 80 gallons. There. I obviously didn't cheat because I didn't get within the 5 gallon target. Even though I said I wasn't going to bother doing that anymore. I'm still doing it. Go up to there and take the ladder. Over this way. Uh, there. Right. Now, that one. Back over here. And then put you in there. This is it. This is the last little bit. We'll have refueled then once we get that one done. And... Kablamo. Right, task completed. Refuel the aircraft. So now we just got to put this little bit away. Take you off of there. And put you up there. And then there it is. Going away. RAF 230 number 5. I was wondering if he would like stop for us. Apparently he doesn't care that we might have been in his way. And he just drove off regardless. If I can I'm bring yeah, like number 2 two like that so then I go to you and to you and then that one and then that one over there like that and then I can go like that and that yeah, it's quite cool that I can see both of them but I d I'm gonna have to do this one first because otherwise I'm gonna, not gonna be able to see that one really easily so then I can do that over there like that okay that's that bit what did I have to do? Oh, check check the undercarriage. I knew what I needed to do right up until I actually started to do it. The wheel is damaged. And, oh, wheel axle cap down there. Can I, I have to go over here like this. Right, uh, wheel is also damaged. Axle cap. Axle cap, that's pristine. Uh, I was trying to go over to this one as well. Tail wheel, pristine. Is there other bits to check on this one? I don't think there is. I think that one's it. That, that's, that's, that, there's nothing to check on that one. Okay, so at both of these front wheels, they need to be replaced. So what we've got to do is we've got to grab that jack right there and we bring it over. And you pop it into there. And then... I just have to click that one. You just move it once and it lifts it up with uh, um, a gas cylinder rather than us having to do it by hand, which is probably a good thing because I don't think we'd be able to pick this aircraft up. Honestly, I don't. So let me do that. And then the other thing I wanted to find out later on, um, well, I did try to find out previously, was whether or not we could remove the... Hang on, have I got to... I've got to take them off both sides was whether or not we could send the aircraft away with the jack in place, because uh, I, I did it wrong last time when I was trying to do that. Right. Go up to that one. There. Axle cap. Axle cap there. And then the wheel. Right. Now I go over here, and I go to replace broken parts, two times wheels. There we go, and then we come back over this way, and we go like that, and we put a wheel back on. We put an axle cap back on like that, and we put an axle cap back on like that. Right. So I'm trying to use the like the way that we move around, but it's not letting me do that. There, task complete, check the undercarriage. That is all we got to do. There is no other parts. And then do that. Right. The big question, can we just let it go right now? We can. Right. It will go while it, it just comes along and he starts up the propellers and it pulls it off the jacks. That's absolutely brilliant. Right. There's another 40 points. That's 31 for two. I don't know where these extra single points are coming from. Every now and then we get one extra point just kind of turn up for no apparent reason. Now that we're done playing photographers, let's return to bombing practices. Fill her up, make sure she's loaded up for your next flight. Refuel, 
load with bombs. Right, a very, very basic job to do. One that we're rather familiar with by this point. So we grab you. We run over here. We back up a little bit. We climb the ladder. And then we do this. We're just going through the motions now. Right, we're, we're, we're losing our passion for this work. Because you do. You, you go through motions like this over and over. And eventually you use your fiery burning passion for it, don't you? And we're losing our fiery burning passion for putting fuel into here. People did say on forums, when I, when I had a look, that um, you will, by the time you finish doing the bomber, be rather fed up with putting fuel into the bomber. And, you know, some of these people seem to speak sense. Why can't they just put a little bit? Why can't you just do short runs? Right, bomb the bottom end of the airfield. You don't have to go hundreds of miles with your bombing runs. Just do the bottom end of the airfield. It's not... You, right? Look. That bit down over there, no one's doing anything with it. It's just a bunch of trees. Go and blow them up. It'll be fine. Nobody will mind. You don't need to go hundreds of miles away in order to be able to blow stuff up. Just do stuff... Just, just do the blowing up here. Back you out a little bit. There we go. And we grab you. And up we go there. And we put that one into there. And then we come back over here. And we put... This has got to be... Well... Obviously, it's going to be 100 gallons plus. We don't quite know how many plus, but it is plus. This is definitely plus 100 gallons. And then we'll wait and see just how many extras it's going to be. Uh, right, yeah, lots. Just lots. We'll just put it down as lots and we'll leave it at that. Go back over to there and then grab you. And we we'll go back under here. I'll put you down there. And then I'll take you, and I'll scramble back up, and I'll put you on there, and then I'll run back over here, and I'll run into here, and then we do this. Then we sit, we twiddle our thumbs, 30, 40, 50, 60. You are feeling sleepy, 70, 80, very sleepy, 90, 100, 110, and you're asleep. Right. There we go. Self-hypnosis. It's a wonderful thing. As long as you don't hypnotize yourself into becoming a chicken, because otherwise who's going to tell you that you're not? That could actually be really bad. Imagine if you could do that. Self-hypnotize yourself into becoming a chicken. I'm not sure that's a very good idea. This is why I don't think that self-hypnosis is a good idea. Right? Because, you know, you, you self-hypnotize in order to have you yourself give up eating too much cake. And you end up self-hypnotizing yourself to become a chicken instead, because you spelt cake wrong. Um, it's not your fault that you're dyslexic. You spelt cake as chicken. And, yeah. That's not really a good thing, though, is it? You, you don't really want to do that. Right, he's rushing off, and we're going to go like that, and we're going to go over this way. Actually, if I go like that, and then I bring that back down a bit, and I bring myself back like that. I can do that and I can do that and then I can do that onto there and then I can do that onto that one over there. Like that. And then we go over here and we do the same over this side. Like that. And then all we got to do is pop down underneath and do the bombs. Really easy bit under there. Go on. Another one there. Perfect. Right. That bit was easy. That bit's done. And then I go here, and we go to Bombay. I've always wanted to go to India. I thought it could be quite interesting going to India. So, but here we are. We're in Bombay. Could be the same place. I don't think... It, is it still Bombay? I, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that, that they renamed it. It used to be Bombay, and now it's a different city or something. A uh, different name to the city or something like that. You know, I've, I have no idea. Honestly, but every time I open Bombay, I, I think of Bombay in India. Uh, so they, that immediately makes me think Bombay, India. Every single time, without fail, I'm thinking Bombay, India. Every time. There it is, in all its wonderful glory. Uh, press escape, and then we go to there. Sign. My signature is getting worse. Refuel the aircraft. Load the aircraft with bombs. Perfect job. Another 30 points. And that takes us up to 320 points to go, or 318. Strange thing happened today. I dropped my payload, but the doors didn't want to close. See what's wrong with them. Refuel, load bombs, fix a problem with Bombay doors. Huh. Maybe we need new Delhi doors instead. 
<laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah, okay, I'll stop now. Uh, right, so let's let's go back over here again. Bombay doors didn't close. I don't imagine that's going to be all that serious. I imagine it f should be reasonably quick and easy for us to sort. Um, we'll soon find out. I don't know what moving parts there are on there. I think we're going to... Well, well, we'll fix the doors before we put the bombs in. Let's just unload this lot. We've got to do the refueling bit first. We always get that out the way, right? Every single job, we get the, the whole refueling malarkey out the way and done. And then we don't have to worry about it. That's, that's, the, that's the dull bit done and out of the way. So that one's going into there and we can come in. Again, it's completely empty. So we got to refill. So I'm getting really fed up with doing this now. They weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. Like, I know that loading of the guns was a little bit tedious. But, I mean, at least it was, like, it, it's reasonably varied with it. But most of the problem with this one is just sitting there waiting for the fuel to fill in the two main central tanks. And I haven't even done that properly yet. Um, it's literally, like, this bit is, is quick and easy. Yeah? It's this bit. It's just sitting, waiting for it to fill up. Aren't I nice to you? I spared you the tedium of most of the job. Yeah, we've just got one last one to do over here. This is one of the quick ones, so it's going to be a lot quicker. A lot easier for you. There we go. A lot easier for me. And we put that one into there. These were empty as well, so it's taken a lot longer. That's going to be about 50 gallons going into that tank just under there we go right task completed refuel the aircraft so we've got the bomb bay doors and then we've got the loading of the bombs so we'll grab you and we'll throw you over there and then we'll go to like that and we'll do what we've been doing over here by doing that that i'll bring that back and then i go to there and then i go to there and then i go like that that one on, put that one on, and then we move up this way, one there, and one up there, and then I wait for that one to come up, and then it will let me put that one on, and then it will let me put that one on over there. Right, job done. So now, we've got to find out what's wrong with these. So I want to go to option three a minute, and... Right... Have I got anything in here? Have I got any mechanisms in here? Well, I'm not seeing any actual mechanisms. Well, I'm seeing nothing at all. Uh, honestly, there's, there's there's nothing in here. It's not... I use option one. All I can do is... Well, you can open the doors, but you can't do anything else. With, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, It's got to be like a gas thing, hasn't it? I can remove... I can remove the bottom engine cowling. Is that what I'm looking for? Like a, a gas type thing? Take that one off of there. Uh... I've got a supercharger. I've got that one. Engine starter. Supercharger. That's all in pristine condition. That's well. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Uh. I don't imagine it's going to be anything to do with the generator. There's there's got to be something to do with the air, right? That there's a. It's not going to be a generator. It's going to be a. What's the word I'm looking for? It'll be that. We've got a hydraulic pump. We've got an engine starter. You know what? I'm going to have to take off this um, cowling over here. And I might, be, I might be able to see the bit that I'm after. Um, compressor. Is that what I want? Is there a compressor on here somewhere? We'll have a look. I'm just wondering if there is a compressor anywhere on this engine. Alright, because we I'm pretty sure we had a compressor on the last one. Air compressor, right there. Right, so if we've got it. Uh fuel filter, there's pristine up there. 
Right, so there's no air compressor. I'm going to leave that for a minute, and I'm going to look over on this side. So maybe there's another air compressor, because that, that, might, that might be something to do with air compression. Okay, let's go with... Well, I'll take this side off over here. Like that. It could be either one, but if, if it's an air compressor... That's, uh, that, that opens up those uh, bomb doors. That might be what we're after. Let's look in here, and... Hmm. Oh, there is a gas cylinder in there. Right, we've got... Uh, I want to go to number three. Hydraulic pump up there. Hy hydraulic... Oh, it'd be oil. Right, an oil system. Not air. Oil system. Right, I need... So, we, we've got a damaged item up there. I'm trying to get through here so that I can have a, a, a look round. Oops, let me do that. Uh... Supercharger, fuel filter. Wait a minute, is the other side... Let me go and have a look over here a minute. Is this side in here... Is, is, is this got a... That's got an air compressor up there, is it? it no, it does have an, a hydraulic pump. That one's also damaged. Ah, it's a good job I didn't put anything back on that one. That one's damaged as well. This side, though... This side has only got a hydraulic pump. This side doesn't have an air compressor, so... It looks, yeah, that's, that's like a, a one-off thing. There's um, a rocker cover. There's a left cylinder head over there. Uh, cooler. No, there is no other air compressor. Right, so there's only one air compressor, but we've got two damaged hydraulic pumps in here. I've got to take that top bit off, which means I've got to take the whole thing off to be able to get to it. I'll take you off of that side there, and I'll take you off like that. There, and then I gotta take that bit off the top. Let me. There. Like that. Then I can get to this bit down here. So I wanna go there. Hydraulic pump. Zoom in a little bit. Like that. Right. It's a bit unfortunate that I gotta go all the way into there to be able to take the thing off. I thought that it might be a little bit easier than that. Uh, no, it's definitely not going to let me do it. So I've got to take this one off. Uh, I can't take that one off without taking this off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Okay. You do have to take off the... I just, I just wondered if I could take off the big bit without taking off the small bit first. But no, you can't do that. Uh, because the small bit fastens through and clips onto that as well. So then we can take this one off up here. And we go up there. And we go like that. There. So, yeah, I thought it was an air thing. It's not. It's a hydraulic pump that we want. It's, it's off the oil system for that bit. So, there we go. We've got that one there now. And hydraulic pumps, I'm pretty sure we can repair these. There we go. Right. Repairing is good because it gets us extra points. Go to that one there, and then I got one right there, and then I got one right there as well. I missed that last part, I think, but I still repaired it. As long as you get two, uh, three out of four, it classes as being repaired. There, and that one, and that one. There's the other bit in there. There, perfect, part fully restored. Okay, so now I can come back over here, and I'm going to go to option two. We want to put the bottom engine cowling back on. That's not something that needed to come off in the first place. Uh, I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there, as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.